everybody, how we doing? Welcome. Hope you've all had a good Christmas and looking forward to a good new year. Hopefully I'll get this on the, before the new year. I just I just had this compulsion to have another one of my man moans, moan and groan. I'm absolutely unbelievable the state we are getting ourselves into over this coronavirus thing. We first heard the peakings of it about a year ago and it's just getting worse and worse isn't it we're not we're not doing well we're not doing well and not only that the virus has now mutated it is a super virus so it can spread easier uh tier four lockdowns are in process salute the ambulance tier four everybody's going up a tier um southeast yeah southeast yeah southeast of england's in tier four i think all of east anglia's in the tier four everybody's on high alert and even over in tier four the infection rate is still going up go figure hello 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 where you've been then so uh so things aren't looking good for us but there we go and who likes blithering Boris eh oh my word whenever he gives one of his speeches I just get the I just want to switch tail off he just blithers and do 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 yes but blah 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 no no talk in sentences coherently Boris that's all we want to hear take lessons from that Scottish woman Sturgeon she can really talk she can captivate you and uh, yeah she gets her point across very clear very good so Scotland you got the right one there we us we got Boris and I'll apologize to the Welsh because I don't know who their premier person is but uh, Nicola Sturgeon Nicola Sturgeon is it I think yeah she really knows her stuff. They got Nicola Sturgeon. She's very precise, very accurate. Gets the point across. No grey areas. This is what it is. Yep, she's been caught out in a pub with no mask on, standing up, talking to people. How dare you? Where, to be fair to her, it's probably got up from the table and someone spoke, so she turned around and spoke to him. Shouldn't have done it, should have had a mask on, but didn't. But there you go. At least she could go to a pub at the time. Lucky girl. But bless her. She gets her point across. And we got Boris. How lucky are we? Oh, Boris the Bliverer. Blivering Boris. I really can't stand a man when he tries to give one of his lectures. It just reminds me of like a, a Trump standing there denying he lost the election. It's sort of like, can you believe a word that's coming out of his mouth? So anyway, yeah, you're all in tier fours. Those that aren't in tier four are in tier three. Don't worry, you're going into tier four soon. Uh, Christmas day, you couldn't go see family. New Year's Eve, which is today, very early New Year's Eve. Uh, yeah, you can celebrate New Year, but let's not ruin it. So stay at home. But are people getting the message? Is Well, people are obviously getting the message, but are they going to adhere to it? I see so many now that have got complacent over it all. It's not going to happen to me, I'm all right. Guess what? It will happen to you or someone you love. Uh, hospitals are claiming 40% more patients than during the first lockdown. Well, I don't know what to say about that. You know, hospitals are getting very, very busy. You're supposed to stay at home to protect the NHS to stop them getting this busy. 
so then they can actually deal with emergencies. Ambulances queuing up, dumping patients, long waiting times and everything else. Well, well done the UK, you've really, really helped these people out by uh, becoming complacent. But there you go, human nature, that's what you're going to do, isn't it? Don't worry about it, you're alright. Until you need some of this. Anyway, yeah, so me having a proper moan on this very cold minus three morning. Why am I on the bike? Uh, because when I get to work, there's nowhere to park. Am I cold? No, not really. I've built up a plethora of gear and experience that I know what's what now. Got my heated jacket on. And yes, it is plugged in and switched on. <coughs> got my thick winter gloves on this time. The motorbike's got heated and grip, so that takes a chill off of that. I haven't yet got the heated insoles or the heated inner trousers. And I can't, for the amount I'm actually out in this, I can't see uh, the need for them, but the jacket is definitely worth it. So, I might do a review on it actually. It's a Keys. Keys. Is that how you pronounce it? K I E S S. Key seated jacket. They range from about 180, 190 quid. Um, you can get battery packs for them. Mine's wired directly to the uh, the motorbike. Uh, it's got three settings. Uh, low. Well, I've got it on at the moment. Medium, which I call a bit hotter, and <coughs> high setting, which is oh fuck me that hurts, turn it down. <coughs> uh, are they worth the money? Yes. Have I had any problems with it? I've had it three years now, and it's still working. So no, no problems with it. Uh, bought the wife on as well because she does feel the cold bless her and she thinks it's the best thing since sliced bread and that's only because she can't cut bread I don't really want to change lanes but there you go <coughs> but yeah get yourself a heated jacket and if your motorbike ain't got heated eat grips, get them, they're well worth it. Well, that's me, I've had a moan about Boris and I've praised Sturgeon and I'm <coughs> I told you about a year jacket. Excuse me. I'm hoping you all have a uh, very good new year, very safe new year. I'm hoping you've had a very good and safe Christmas. And they reckon uh, the virus is going to be out there and done, everybody done by about Easter. Easter is that April or May this year, I don't know, May I think. So we've still got another four months of this left. Are we going to be in lockdown the whole time? Uh, probably not, because they can't let the economy go that way. So they're going to let you all out while they're rolling out the viruses. Um, there's nine categories of people that will be vaccinated. One to nine, one being the first people, obviously, and nine being the last. And I'll fall into category nine, so... Those of you who are uh, young, fit and healthy-ish will be joining me in Category 9 and we're not going to be done till yeah, Easter. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll probably sound a bit muffled because I've still got my mask on, so keep you all safe, I've kept my mask on. There's something nice about riding this time in the morning hardly any traffic on the roads 
been able to uh, not have to think too much, get taken out by a dust lorry. Good job he was looking. Ah oh dear. Oh yeah, and uh, I'd like to say thank you to the, uh, the gentleman in the silver voxel that completely cut me up at the roundabout yesterday while I was weaving my way round in the early hours of the morning. I'll probably put the video on here. very nice was it so yeah thank you very much to him that was very courteous driving of you bell end but there you go well thank you all for watching uh, I'm gonna say it but I don't really mean it <coughs> if you like the video hit the subscribe button hit the bell or whatever it is come subscribe and listen to more of my uh, old man moans. Hopefully I'll be able to put some actual biking videos on this year. We'll be able to get out and get ourselves some uh, motorcycling done. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Well, take, quite, take care all. All the best. Happy New Year. And let's hope 2021 is better than 2020. Bye for now.